What's up, Fire Family? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. It's the weekend. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Oh, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am here to do the, I guess I want to say weekend reading. All right. Um, really quick before we hop in, guys, the June Bitch Shut the Fuck Up box is now available on my online store, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. This is the beautiful June box. You guys um, know I also launched 11 new products yesterday, and I launched 10 products the week before that. So I have a lot of new products for you guys to look at and, you know, check out. Alrighty. Um, so really quick, I'm not going to go over the box because I did a separate video, but I will tell you what is in the box, all right? So the June box comes with the Bitch Shut the Fuck Up Shimmer Oil and Spray. You guys will get, um, and these are both new, you guys will get my new Boss Bitch um, Body Oil my new employed oil and it's an employment oil and my new um cord cutting cut ties so cord cutting um spray and then you guys will get my manifest that shit bath salts which i brought back and you guys will get a dalmatian jasper crystal Alrighty, and yes it has an orange in it okay because oranges radiate help you radiate like they radiate you like they help you like glow and shine and look good they're good for the face spiritual bath stuff like that okay but this is the box it is available on my online store the information is also in the description box below also pinned in the comments or you guys can look on the community tab alrighty so this is the beautiful box again y'all see look check it out alrighty um so yes let's hop in y'all i hope y'all are doing great what y'all got playing this a weekend it's the weekend y'all i don't know why i'm excited i think i'm more excited for the boys because um we're taking them to the spider-man premiere well, not the premiere, but the movie. It came out today. We were trying to go yesterday, and it was sold out in, like, the five theaters near me. And I told him, I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not driving 40 minutes. We'll wait till tomorrow. And then I almost forgot this morning. I'm glad I was able to get some tickets last minute. So that's what me and the boys, that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I'm excited for them. It, God, that movie is two hours and 20 minutes. I'm ready, but I'm not. As long as I got my popcorn with extra butter and my milk duds, I'm good. Um, but yes, y'all, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with the y'all. Okay, let's see what's going on with the collective. You never scared of my ancestors. What messages do you have for the collective? Let's see what's going on with y'all. I know I might look at finances and career really quick, and then we can hop into um, you know, love like always. Alrighty. If I have time today, I'll do the June predictions. If not, I'll upload it tomorrow. Y'all know my schedule changed a little bit since school is out and since the boys will be leaving soon. So, you know, I'm a little bit more free on the weekends. Not that much freer, but like, you know, to put out extra content and stuff, yes. Um, so we'll see y'all. Hopefully I can get it up today. But if not, we'll do it tomorrow. It's still the first three days in June. I don't know. I feel like you guys needed it or need it. So let's see. Let's look at finances and career. Right, let's see. Let me find some career messages for the collective. The devil in reverse, the justice card. Hmm. All right. The devil in reverse is good, though. It's like you're breaking free, you, setting yourself free. Are you going to feel better about something? Like, you're not going to feel like as tied down and chained or like restricted or restricted, sorry, or feel like somebody's like up under you watching you and stuff like that. With justice, it might have been the right thing to do with the justice card. Maybe this wasn't something for you. There can be a better opportunity coming in. There can be a contract job or something like that coming in. Page of Pentacles. Um, let's see what else we have. We have the hangman in release. I said in release. <laughs> the hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse. All right. The hangman talks about releasing. So um, let's see why this hangman, why the hangman is in reverse. I said the hangman in release, y'all. All right. We have look, all major. So Capricorn, Libra, and Pisces energy. Some of you guys could have one of these signs um, as your um, sun or your moon sign. Let's see. The Two of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this is, it was difficult, okay? Like you had an issue with sin and then it's like you kind of didn't want to leave, but you kind of just felt stuck. You didn't know what to do. But it's saying that it's best that you guys did release and free yourself from this job, okay? The High Priestess is in reverse. Yeah, I feel like there was more to come, like meaning more for you guys to find out. I feel like eventually you would have let go of the job if you didn't let go today or within this week. Um, but let's see, King of Wands reverse. 
Oh, who is y'all going off on? So y'all let go of, I mean, y'all went off on somebody. Okay, so the Empress is here. You guys feel like somebody doesn't see your worth and value. You feel like they take advantage of you guys and you feel like you are better than this. You deserve better. Some of you guys went off. King of Wands reverse with the um, High Priestess in reverse. You could be scared, not sure if you're going to lose your job or not. That can be why you're in your head. Um, and then for some of you guys, somebody was already, like, you know, kind of secretly feeling some type of way with the High Priestess in reverse. Um, but I also feel like somebody was, was taking advantage of y'all. All right, it was just a lot that you guys could have been blindfolded to and weren't seeing, and it's like you open your eyes. Even though the Two of Swords is in the upright, I feel like you know, um, you guys are starting to see something. For like, you know, like you were just like, okay, why am I always doing this, this, and that? Like, this is not what I'm supposed to do. This isn't in my job. I'm always have to do extra, stay late. Let's see why the Devil is in reverse. Why is the Devil in reverse for finances and career? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys work from home. All right, Six of Pentacles. So I mean. There's going to be a better opportunity that comes in. We have eight plus the six of pentacles. This is good. Definitely a six-figure paying job. Maybe even more. Um, or this new job is going to treat you much better than the last job. Or you're going to make much more money than the last job. So maybe this is like a good thing. Maybe this is a blessing behind it all. King of Cups. Yeah, where you're loved, valued, and appreciated. Treat it more better. Okay, let's see. Why is justice here? Going to justice? Why is justice here? Yeah, so I feel like it all happened for a reason. Like it, you know, like it was meant to happen that way. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they didn't really care for you guys anyway. All right, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Lovers. We have the Will of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, I feel like they liked you guys at first, but they weren't too fond of you. Like they really didn't care for you. Like, um, I don't know why. I don't know what it is you guys did or said or what you guys, what you guys weren't doing. But if you guys want to quit, they would eventually let you guys go. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They would eventually let you guys go with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Um, so maybe you didn't meet their expectations or something like that. You know, but at first they loved you. You like, you know, they felt like you were good, you know, for the job to, you know, to have you here. But something changed their mind. There could be a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini. There can be a Libra. A, a Taurus, Capricorn, I say Pisces, yeah, Will of Fortune. On um, this one, it has all the fixed signs, but it could be uh, Sagittarius as well. Going to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles. There's another offer coming in. Some of you guys, it's in as little as 10 days. Some of you guys, it's in 10 weeks. But this is going to be the offer that comes in. Okay, the opportunity that's coming in. Um, where it's going to pay more. It's still going to be a remote job at home. It's going to be a lot more chill and relaxed. See, this person has on, you know, like regular clothes. If it is a job where you have to, like, go to the office and do remote, it's just a more relaxed job, you know, so you can, like, be yourself. You can be chill, relaxed. Like, I feel like whatever job this is, you can, like, you can wake up, like, with your sweats on and whatever you slept in. Like, you know, it's not, like, they don't require much, like, as long as you do your job. But this will be the offer that comes in. You might have to study or do a little research on the company or the job. But that job is definitely going to like you. They're going to treat you better. You're going to be like family. And it's and I mean by family is like everybody knows each other. It seems like it may be a big company, but like your group, your position, it may be small. You know, like it may be only like maybe 5, 10, maybe 15 people in your department. So everybody will know each other. Yeah, the stars here. So this will be way better fit. Something that's in alignment for you. You just got to be a little bit more patient. Okay. So, yeah, something is coming. It's around the corner. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. Four of Wands, yeah. So, yeah. I thought you guys took a risk or risked something or jumped into something thinking that it was going to uh, make you more money or that you're going to make more money. But I feel like um, it was a lot harder than you thought or just wasn't what you guys thought it was. Um, and I just feel like if you guys want to quit, they would have let you guys go. You know, either or. So maybe it was as best that I guess you guys quit first or whatever, but... Um, that's what I'm getting for finances in career. All right. So let's look at love, y'all. Let's see what's going on with love.
because there's people got me for this reading for the collective. They need to know in here when it comes to love. So with this energy, I'm getting kind of like, um, I don't know why I'm getting like, it's, it's hard to stay and it's hard to go. Like it's hard to stay, it's hard to leave, you know, or it's hard to like be in this situation, but it's also hard to leave the situation. Okay. Um. And I see that you guys already see that, like, you're not going to get what you want out of this situation. And you don't like to be second to any anyone. Like, you want to be first. You want to be in first place. You want to be the only one. And it might not be that way for you guys. And that's what you're having to accept. Or that's what you don't want to accept. All right. Um, but it's interesting because... Any you guys can have anybody, but I feel like maybe it's just this person. All right, so we do have the five of wands here under the queen of wands. So like you guys can have anybody, but for some reason it must be something about this person. All right, that you can't seem to shake. All right, um, the high priestess is in reverse with the two of swords, so they're definitely third party energy. All right, somebody is somebody's secret lover. There's some type of secret relationship here. All right. Um, somebody could be addicted to the sex with you because the Queen of Wands is here with the High Priestess in reverse. But we have the Two of Swords here, and that's what makes it difficult. That's the difficult decision. That's the painful and difficult decision. Like I said, it's hard for you to stay, and it's hard for you to leave. But you got to make it like it's, uh, it's, you need to make a decision. The Death card is here. And that's what you guys have been thinking about. There's five pentacles here. There's two pentacles here. And you've been watering this plant and it's been growing a little bit, but you're still not like, even though it's water, like it's growing, even though you watered it and it's growing, you're still not in first place when it comes to this person. Like you're still not their, their only one or you're still not the one, like there's still somebody else. And, um, yeah. Some of you are like, damn, if she would just get the fuck out the way or if he would just get the fuck out the way, leave in the relationship already. If they'll just break up already. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Okay. The will of fortune is in reverse. So we're going to see how this plays out. Yeah, we're going to see how this plays out. Okay, let's see what's going on, y'all. Let's see what's going on. At the bottom, we have King of Pentacles. So that can be towards Virgo Capricorn. That can be somebody that is in a relationship, committed, married, um, whatever their situation is, whether it's obligated, forced, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay. But um, let's hop in, y'all. Let's see what this is about. Some of y'all are about to do a huge chop with your hair. Because her hair is long on here and then it's short on here. And you know, when a woman cuts her hair, that means she's about to make changes in her life. That means a lot of things are about to change. All right? Because we know that hair um, has a lot of, like, energies tied to it. Okay? Um, and sometimes it's best to, like, do that chop, you know, to get rid of, like, certain energies that you guys been holding on to or carrying. All right? Um, so let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Go to the Queen of Wands. So for the major, we have Scorpio, Pisces, um, Sagittarius. We got fixed energy too. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Go to the Queen of Wands. 
the Empress in reverse. Hmm. Yes. I don't like it, collective. I don't like it. You know? I don't like it. We're going to go into this King of Pentacles soon. I don't like this so far. I don't. And the reason why I say I don't like it so far is because we got this Empress in reverse on top of this Queen of Wands in reverse. And this is y'all. And the reason why I don't like it is because y'all are letting this relationship, um, you know, kind of control you guys in a way. It's bringing you down. It's bringing down your self-esteem. Like the Queen of Wands, yeah, she's in the upright. But it's kind of like you're giving way too much of yourself to this person. You want this connection. You know, um, you're doing things that you would never, that you never did before, or you're accepting things that you wouldn't normally accept or allow in a relationship. There could be a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, great sex, good conversation, yes. But with the Empress in reverse, it's like you're going against like you, like how you are, what you stand for, you know, for some of you guys. So it can be that maybe you're like, oh, I'll never be with somebody that's with somebody, and now you are. Or, oh, I'll never be in a third party, and you are. Whatever it is, it's like you're doing something that is against like your rules like are against something that you said you would not ever do and now you are doing it okay um and at first i feel like you guys are very confident you guys could be still very confident about this person this relationship this connection whatever but to see the empress in reverse it's like you're bringing down your divine feminine energy okay because the empress like when she's in reverse she can be kind of naggy naive she can be insecure you know um she's not focused on herself she's giving her energy to everyone else Okay, she's putting herself last. Okay, um, it also is a card of like a health scare. Okay, so your health could be affected, whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever, um, because you're too invested into this. Okay, and I feel like you guys see the passion, the chemistry, like you feel the passion, the chemistry, whatever it is that you feel like you get that fiery touch that make you feel good. But when they leave or at the end of the day or when they have to go back home or go to their person, like how do you feel after that? The Empress in reverse okay and the high priestess is there next so and this is and this is the like i'm not gonna say like this is a card of truth but like this is how you secretly feel the high priestess can be a card of like hidden feelings secrets so this is how you secretly feel so deep down inside this is how you feel you don't want to share um your man with another woman or you don't want to have somebody else's man or person or woman or whatever this may be like deep down inside you know this is not you but there's something about this person that you just can't shake and let go of so that's why it's like I said, it's hard for you to stay and it's hard for you to leave. You're like, if I stay, I got to be second to this person. I got to deal with their bullshit when I can see them, when they communicate their relationship or, oh, we're going to do family stuff this weekend. I feel like it just, it, it eats you up and like, like it just, it just it makes you crawl inside because I feel like you're like, mm -mm, fuck this. Like, I'm fine. I'm a bad bitch. Why am I dealing with this? Why am I letting them do this to me? But there's something about them that you like okay and this is what this relationship or this connection or this situation is doing to you and you know it a lot of you guys are very intuitive as well with the high priestess and you kind of know how this is going to unfold but it's kind of like okay am i willing to just accept that that's how it's going to unfold but right now i'm gonna play this game and deal with them and i like them and i'm not gonna feel no type of way what you are but you aren't but you are you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it maybe goes on the day. So like today you might be like, oh, that's my boo. That's my baby. Tomorrow, fuck their ass. I hate them. They can go be with their bitch, whatever. You know, it just depends. And I just feel like you're better than that. And y'all can have anybody that y'all want. But there's something about this. I'm going to say fool or clown. But because um, they can be a good person. They can be a good man or a good woman. They can be really good to y'all. But restrictions apply. Okay. Um. For others of you, they can be hiding you, keeping you hidden. But... If they are, it's we know why. Okay? So let me go on to this King of Pentacles real quick. Even though this is the overall energy. Well, this is the, the energy at the bottom of the deck. Let's go on to this King of Pentacles and see what they're about. This person may be like casual, cool, calm, collective, nine to five, you know, preppy, dress really nice, uh, proper, has manners, educated. This is how this person is looking. They dress very well. That's how this person is looking here. It doesn't have to be, but this is how this person is looking. All right. They might wear like, you know, some nice casual pants or a shirt and a designer sneaker or something like that. Just based off the picture. Somebody's into like, you know, the current style and like fashion and stuff. Because how he has his pants cuffed at the bottom. It reminds me of like when somebody wears like an Oxford you know, like with the khakis and they're like rolled up and they have on like a nice shoe. That's what this reminds me of. But maybe that's just how they dress. Maybe that's how they have to dress for work, you know. But let's see. 
and their head is down and their eyes are closed. I never really noticed that with the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody that like feels bad. You know, they show up, but they feel bad. They probably can't face you and look you in the eye. Going to this King of Pentacles. And there's weeds around them. Five of Pentacles. Yes. So they feel the same way. It's hard for them to stay. And it's hard for them to leave. The Five of Pentacles is also telling me that they, like, they're hurting over the situation because there's not much more they can give you. Okay, with this Five of Pentacles. So... Let's see, y'all. They want to give you more, but they can't, you know. Let's see, y'all. This is five of pentacles here. The hey, man, reverse. See? Told you. They And for some of you guys, they want to release you. They want to let this situation go. But they're struggling to do that. Seven of swords. And they keep running back to you guys. They can't let go. See, six of cups in reverse is cutting the core, cutting the past. Cutting, like, cutting ties, sorry. Cutting the past. Cutting cords, cutting someone off, focusing on the future, okay? Letting go of someone so that they can focus and move forward. Somebody that's trying to mature in a situation. So not saying that um, this person isn't mature, you are, but it's kind of like, okay, let me be mature about it. Let me be man about it. Let me let this go. Let me cut this situation off because I'm already with somebody. Let me free myself. Let me lead us along, you know, um, but it's like they can't. Not with this energy. They keep coming back to you. <laughs> Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, they're starting to feel weird without you. So when they're not with you or when y'all are not together, it makes them feel some type of way. But at the same time, they know that they need to cut this off. Going to the Hangman in Reverse. Pisces Energy. This person could be a Pisces. Uh -oh. Seven of Pentacles. And we have, look, Eight of Cups. And you're in the Seven of Pentacles too. So y'all are kind of like in the same energy, you know, but... They're more thinking about cutting this off more than anything. Um, but it's, it's hard. It's difficult. I mean, well, you guys have it in your energy, too. Um, yeah, and then we got the Eight of Cups walking away, leaving this behind. So Seven of Pentacles is also a card of thinking, contemplating. So when they think about it, they're like, okay, I just need to walk away. I need to leave this alone. But then they might feel bad with the five of pentacles. Like, I can't do you like that. I can't, you know, I don't I don't want to do you like that. I don't want to hurt you. But they've already caused damage or hurt, I feel, be, due to the situation, the circumstances between you guys. Let's go into this uh, high priestess in reverse. I'm going to the high priestess in reverse. I'm going to the high priestess in reverse. Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. Can't get this person off your mind. But what did I just say? Not that you can't get this person off your mind. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I thought it was eight, eight of swords and upright. Um, well, it's just kind of saying, like, you guys do let this go. And you're just like, okay, I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to, you know, think about the situation too much. It is what it is. It's over. It's done. But then it's like with the high priestess in reverse. You still secretly think about this person. So it's like even when you say you are letting go, it's like the strength card is like y'all need to be strong, okay? Discipline yourself. If you say you're going to cut them off, cut them off. If it's over, it's over. But then I feel like you guys still, you know, come back to the situation. Go into the four of wands reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. Yep. You let them come back. Ten of swords in reverse. Yep, what did I just say? You let them go. You release them. You're like, I can't do this. I'm better than this. I have to release you. I have to let you go. I need to free myself. I can't keep letting you pull on me. My energy and draining me and fucking me crazy and doing all this. And then here you go. And then that big dick energy come back in. Letting them in the side door. Okay? So, I don't know what to say, y'all. Side door, front door, whatever. I don't know why I said side door. I haven't seen a house with a side door in a very long time. 
or maybe that's because we're in Texas. I don't know. I haven't seen one in a very long time. A house with a side door. Um, and some of you guys cry during sex or when you guys are intimate. You know, or when they're like doing certain things to you. The Three of Swords is here, Ace of Wands. And if you guys are, it's just due to the situation. Because the Six of Swords is in reverse. And you're like, damn, what did I get myself into? I keep saying I'm going to let go, but now they're coming back. And it's just, I didn't got myself back into some shit, some trouble. You know, or it just makes you feel some type of way. Because you know, after y'all do what y'all do, they got to go, they got to leave. Or it's not going to last for a long time. It's not going to last forever. You know, or it's not going to, you know, they're not going to stay as long as you want them to. For some of you guys, they may stay over and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't think they do, but they could. I mean, it's possible, but the four of wands is the reverse. Seems like they come and go. Let's see why this three of pentacles is here. Why is the three of pentacles here? Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody feels like this is a poor choice. Seven of cups in reverse can be poor choices. Somebody feeling trapped. But they're feeling trapped due to a choice that they made, which is a poor choice. And now, I'm not saying y'all are a poor choice. No, they made poor choices, meaning like they let it carry on this far. All right, this can be you guys feeling like this, okay? Um, Seven of Cups in Reverse can also be someone that tried to avoid this issue, like try to avoid uh, it getting this far. But like I said, they feel they didn't got themselves here. They didn't put themselves in a situation. You guys been talking for months, going out, drinking, having a good time. And one thing led to another, and now it is what it is. For some of you guys, it has been months. Um, it even could be years. Look, the devil. Mm -hmm. It started off with, you know, friends with benefits, sex, you know, stuff like that. But, um, see, um, uh, Did I say? Yeah, some of y'all could admit that work. So this is a lot, y'all. Let's see why the death card is here. Scorpio energy. Why the death card here? The Knight of Wands. See? I'm getting that energy again. Look. And again they're gonna cut it off with y'all because this is the emperor the knight of wands for some of you guys there may be one more like one last time or they may see you guys like one more time so i'll just say prepare yourself for that because for some of you guys the knights the knight of wands is in and out and this is somebody that wants to see you they want to see you one last time before it's over and the emperor is here the queen of cups they do have feelings for you they do love you. They do have feelings for you. But they know they need to let this go. All right? Yeah. They need to let this go. And they may not want to make this decision, but they have to make this decision. Okay? Um, why is the emperor here? Nine of pentacles in reverse. The four of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that's in a relationship. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. So their person may know about y'all. Let's look into this Queen of Swords. Their person may know about y'all. Let's see why the Queen of Swords here. Going to the Queen of Swords. Why the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, this person, they love you. They feel like you're gifted, you know, very intuitive. They feel like you're loving and nurturing. You care for them. But they know they have to make this, deci this decision to go. It could be a Taurus or an Aries. And why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? See, they do. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So their person knows about y'all and told them to cut you the fuck off now ASAP. Maybe that's why the universe wants you guys to make a decision. We'll go on to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But we got the Tower, Page of Wands, Six of Cups in reverse. So you go tell them that it's over and you're done and you're moving on. You're not dealing with them anymore. Or it's me in this relationship. The good thing in this for them is that they gave them an ultimatum. Or that they know about y'all, but they're not leaving them. Because whoever this is, they feel like they're not going anywhere. So they kind of feel like, you know, all right, like I know your little 
you had your little thing going on, cut them off, tell them bye. And that's what they're coming to do. But over here, we saw where they were already trying to cut it off anyway. So, yes, um, collective. Hmm. I keep hearing now, like right now. So maybe the universe wants y'all to make a decision like right now, like now, like today as this reading is playing out. Okay, because they coming back around, not a cups reverse, but it's going to be a breakup. Like I said, y'all are going to be sad. There's going to be a breakup or this is bad news. Okay. Um, let me go into the Wheel of Fortune in reverse really quick and see what this is about. So we know the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, it can be something that is not meant to turn of on your favor right now in this situation. Something that's not moving forward. Something that's stuck or stagnant. Maybe it's not the right timing. It can be a karmic cycle. All right, so let's see. Why is the fortune in reverse? Why is the fortune in reverse? Let's see. The Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. Yep, see, I told you. They're going to reach out to you guys. They're coming to see y'all. They're going to reach out to you. They gonna, So what they're going to do, though, they're going to be slick about it because they're going to tell you that they want to talk to you and see you. Y'all are going to have sex or be intimate. And then that's when they're going to tell you after. They're not going to tell you before. Because they want to have sex with you one last time too. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. Then that's when they're going to communicate to you. Like, okay, like, like she knows about you or he knows about you, blah, blah, blah. But even if they don't tell you that part, they're going to be like, we need to break things off. This isn't good. It's not right. You know. Um, and they're coming off as if they're serious this time. Just looking at their energy over here. Six of Pentacles. This is something that they want to continue to give in to, but they got to make a decision. See, two of pentacles is here. If, if they have to weigh things up or make a decision, they're going to choose the situation they're already in. They don't want to let you go, no, but they're already involved. So, king of cups, ring verse. Yeah, the fun, the cheating, all the bullshit, it's over. Now I got to go back to being the husband, the father, being committed. I can't play this game no more. Eight of wands is, ring, eight of wands is here, sorry. Yeah, three of pentacles. They're going to tell you they're going to try to make it work or fix things in their other relationship or that's just what they're going to decide to do to just go back to their relationship. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. So, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? They're going to be hurt about this. They might cry on the way home. You know, or when they get home and shower. Or they're, This is hurting them, you know. Trust me, they are going to be hurt about it. But after a few days, they're going to be back happy and out again. Like, not out with somebody else, but, you know, just, you know, I guess you could say moving forward. Because whoever they're around is like watching them, has got their foot down or watching them. They're watching their every move. Yeah. They're going to be watching their every move, especially, you know, like their schedule and certain stuff are like this person is going to like either go to work and come straight home or. But they're going to be hurt over this situation. And here's that Queen of Swords. See, Ten of Wands. And that Queen of Swords is hurting, too. Um, they just may act like they're not. They know how to cover their hurt or pain or whatever you want to call it. But they are feeling some type of way about it, too. All right, let's go into this um, Five of Wands. And then I'm going to pull some love work about. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands? Why is the Five of Wands here? The lovers. Didn't I tell you that y'all can have whoever y'all want? The Five of Wands are the lovers. So many people like y'all or into y'all are attracted to you there are so many people out there that will love you give you what you want give you more look five of wands again for some of you guys you got somebody right in front of you or people around you or right in front of you that want to be with you but you're overlooking them you're not paying attention to them and 
Even after I just told y'all all of this shit. Don't make me mad, Collector. Don't, don't make me mad. Okay? I love y'all. But after I just told y'all all this shit. And I get it. You know, you love who you love. The heart wants what it wants. Y'all are still not going to be over this motherfucker. And y'all still may let them come back. Okay? After things die down or calm down. Mm. Yep. I don't know what to say, collector. Now I want to throw the deck. Because I just feel like this is just a repeated cycle. I feel like this is a repeated cycle. I feel like this is not healthy for y'all. I don't like how y'all are showing up as the Empress in Reverse. For some of y'all, it's time for y'all to break this generational curse. It's time for y'all to break this. Y'all see y'all mothers go through it. Y'all see your mother seeing their mother go through it. Some of y'all are mothers. Y'all are daughters. Y'all are sisters. People look up to y'all. Okay, and again, I don't know your person and why you like them and love them so much. And I'm not, I'm just going to say this. I'm not. But when I seen this energy over here and I just said, y'all can have whoever y'all want. There's a lot of people that like y'all. After all this is said and done, yes, they're going to cry or whatever. And they're going to... Cut this off and feel some type of way. Why let them come back? To cause more damage. To cause more hurt. To get you to open your legs again. Legs are mouth. To get you to cook, clean, do stuff for them. To get you to give yourself to them in any type of way. But then to just put on their motherfucking clothes. And shoes. And start their car up. And head the fuck back home. I'm just saying. So. I need y'all to be a lot more stronger. Than this person in this situation. Okay. Go on to this Empress Reverse. You want love. You're looking for love. But in the wrong place or with the wrong person. I get it. You want love. You want to be loved too. You want to be loved. You want to be married. You know, you want to be happy. You want to have more kids or you want to have kids. You want somebody that wants you like you want them. You don't want to be lonely. You know, um, I get it. That's what's stressing and bothering a lot of y'all. But you got to ask yourself, are they the right one? The right one is trying to come in or somebody's trying to come in. But when you're entertaining this or you keep allowing this to come back into your life, you just going to keep being that person. I mean, keep, yeah, being this person and in this energy and allowing them to come back in. And it's not that y'all aren't divine feminines and stuff and y'all ain't empresses or whatever you call, want to call yourself. No, I'm not saying that. But the empress in reverse, that is the energy of that. Because obviously there are a lot of things that you, um, when it comes to a lot of things, you are strong. You are very confident. The queen of wands is there. But when it comes to them, you weak for a mother. And that's all I'm going to say. When it comes to them, you weak, you weak in the knees like SWV ass. Like weak. Okay? So, y'all got to get some knee braces. Order them bitches off Amazon. Figure it out. Because this right here, it's not going to work. It's just, it's just I thought it was going to keep bringing you down. Because they're going to let things die down. They're not going to deal with y'all for a while. And then they're going to pop back up. And you're going to let them pursue. You're going to come in and give you daddy dick and all type of stuff. How do you making tacos after y'all done? Just like on Baby Boy. Okay? How do y'all just walking funny and making tacos and shit? Doing backflips. Shit y'all don't do. Because that's how y'all feel towards this person. But, no. It ain't worth it. Because they're always going to choose them. I don't know if they will ever choose y'all and i'm not trying to be negative i'm being serious will they ever choose y'all this person that i'm picking up in this reading for the collective the person they're dealing with that has them in this situation will they ever choose them will they ever choose y'all will they ever choose y'all look page of cups the seven of swords 
two of pentacles you will always be the person that they juggle and creep with that they have feelings for that they go to justice there's a lesson behind this eight of wands in reverse it will always be an excuse it will always be something changing in the situation things slowing down not progressing things not moving forward ten of swords in reverse always starting over with them are giving them another chance or um and you know what the ten of swords in reverse this is a card of like starting over yes but it's it's like they cause so much pain and then every time you start over but it ends up being the same shit different day different month different year what they ask all right all because you love them okay is it that much love in the world because um i feel like some of y'all never maybe y'all never really found i'm not gonna say you, you never found real love or never loved somebody but i'll just tell you like this right here you deserve better love than this you know and imagine if if, if you're getting this Imagine how it will be with somebody that is equally yoked to you. Somebody that really wants to love you. The love is, it will be and feel so much better. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Exactly. It's always going to be casual. This hookups. Friends with benefits. Maybe take you out in public here and there. Do that. You know, but Ace of Cups in reverse. They're going to leave you sad and disappointed. Always breaking it off. And if any of y'all get pregnant by this person, they really going to run. Okay. Okay. As soon as I said it, they love you, they do care for you, I'll give y'all that. But they're going to always be in and out of y'all life. Okay? And like I said, y'all going to have to be strong when it comes to this month. Okay? okay? So, like I said, if I got to order y'all some knee braces, uh, is y'all going to have to... Mm -mm. They're always going to choose you for the moment, for the time, you know, or... They're choosing you guys at that time. I ain't trying to be mean. I ain't trying to be a bitch. I ain't trying to be negative or anything or bring y'all spirits down. No. But it will only be right for me to tell y'all the truth. Then for me to lie. I'm like, oh, they're going to choose you. They're going to be with you. They're going to commit to you. You're the one for them. They're going to leave their person to be with you. I don't see that in this movie. This person already been trying to leave a couple times. I've seen that. Because they know what they're doing is wrong. Let's pull some uh, love cards. And even if y'all fight, argue, change our number, guess what? They're going to have a new number. If y'all block them off Instagram or y'all going to unblock them or if you change your Instagram or Facebook, they're going to find out the new one or you're going to give them a new one when you guys are back on good terms and talking and stuff. It's just that kind of cycle with them. This shit is it's, it's very unhealthy. That's what y'all going to keep doing. So y'all can change our number 10 times, get 10 different Instagrams, 10 different Facebooks, 10 different Snapchats, whatever. It don't matter. Y'all can move. Whoever this person is, you just weak for them. And you're going to always let them come in. And that's what, that's what needs to stop. And that's why I feel like the universe, spirit wants you to make a decision now. Okay? So we have convenience over heart. Staying out of convenience. Heart belongs somewhere else. So for some of you guys that are staying out of convenience, are like their heart belongs to someone else, but they still kick it with you guys. Okay? And we have back and forth. On and off relationship, back and forth between partners. Can't make a decision. We have fights arguing all the time not on the same page a clash of personalities so some of you guys can fight or argue over this situation or this person okay we have workplace affair for some of you guys i told you guys met this person at work so it says fooling around at work having an affair with a co-worker using work as an excuse desperate can't let go desperate for love fear of ending the relationship so some of you guys are not saying you're desperate, but maybe you fear in this relationship. And then we have everybody wins. Everybody gets what they want. All parties come to an agreement. No hard feelings on all sides. I feel like this is bullshit. I feel like this is a lie because I feel like nobody wins in this situation. You're not winning. They're winning more than, than you are of anything because they have you in other situation. Oh, we already pulled the strength card. Sorry. Why everybody wins? Let's see. See, it's only, it's, they only win. Because if they if they cut this off, they can still move forward in their other relationship. That other situation is not lost. It's not gone. It's not over. Yeah. It may be difficult or whatever. But then it's also telling me, like, if they have to, like, cut you off, block you, ignore you, or do what they got to do to keep this moving forward, that's what they'll do, too. So they're winning. Not you. So, I don't, I, you know, I don't like shit like this, collective. We got to do better. Yeah, I don't fight their sacrificing shit. Yeah, it's going to be too late when they come back. Tell them bye. 
Tell them you're traveling and coming on uh, balconies with somebody new. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. They're going to tell you that they're waiting for. That's what it said. Let's pull one last card. What are they not telling y'all? Y'all know this is my what's really going on deck. I'm going to order some more of these soon because y'all keep asking me. But I got a new deck coming out. So I'll probably will order these with a new deck. I'm almost finished. I just got to finish up on everything, y'all. The deck is nice. It's fire. Like fire. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have secret getaway gaslighting. So they like, you know, they might take you on a secret getaway here and there. So for some of you guys, are gaslighting you. We have bad energy. Yeah, they are bad energy. We have manip manipulative. So this person could be very manipulative. We have unrequited love and we have children involved. There could be children involved in their other situation. And that can be why they keep going back or why they're staying. Okay. Um, let me see. We have shady. They are shady. Plot twist. And emotionally abusive. We see that. And sexting and bad intentions. So like I said, every time they come in, they want something. They want something from you. Yeah, they care about you, but they want something from you. And look, I cut the middle of the deck and we got the wife card. Okay? We got wife. We got guilt. Has ugly ways. iPhone. So, yeah. I mean, it could be any of these reasons here. You know? Uh, this is just their energy. Yeah, y'all need that June box so y'all can shut their ass the fuck up. And y'all can stay in y'all bag and move on and go towards better love. You know, like when I seen that over there with the lovers and the five of wands, there's so many people that like y'all that are attracted to y'all that will tr that will want to be with you, but y'all ain't giving it a chance. Cause they, I don't know, they must got y'all hypnotized. I don't know what what, what they got between their legs or how they come off or what they're saying, but I don't want into that. Cause whew, no ma'am, I love y'all. Okay, that is the reading. If it resonated, please do like. Share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book a personal reading, you already know, fireintuition.com. Bye, fire fam.